a good morning and warm welcome to Brother Jo Huang and our brother and sisters around the globe. So, Brother Jo Huang, uh, very grateful to Brother Jo uh, for um, spending time with us uh, despite his uh, tight schedule uh, to guide and care for us. And uh, the last one, finally, we have our brother uh, who will be sharing on the journey during uh, this COVID uh, time. Yeah. Okay. Um, Anybody, uh, we, we decided to uh, open this session in that uh, the reason being that I heard the other day, um, you're everybody's from Malaysia, the, the sharings, and many things about the recent um, COVID-19 uh, situation. And I know that coming up at, at 750, um, brother is going to share about the grand, the grand wisdoms. Um, but I also wanna hear about um, how, how everybody is doing. Um, especially I think for four or five straight days, the confirmed cases have gone past 10,000. Per day. Yes, it's keep on increasing as you and, can see the numbers. Yeah, and, one... and so I, I wanted to hear, um, have you, uh, anybody, do you know your families or your friends who are affected and uh, how are you coping? And I think through everybody's um, prayer or everybody's well wish, and also we have master here that perhaps you can share, unload some of your burdens unload some of your emotions so that we as a group, we as a family can shoulder them together. And it's not something that you have to face and, and shoulder on your own. It's something that you can share with the group too. So I opened the floor. I didn't, um, I, I intended for, for all of us to be able to, um, to, to, to share, um, open your uh, heart and share, and maybe it would be able to help somebody. Now, before, uh, before this is open, you can, you can raise your hands or Minli can continue to be the, the MC to help us facilitate. Um, so this will be your first time and it will be a very wonderful time to help us <laughs> facilitate. But uh, before, I think um, it's just a session among friends and among family. Uh, before I move on to, uh, to letting everybody, uh, whoever that wants to talk, um, share, um, I do want to say this. I heard a couple of days ago from one of the uh, a recycling volunteer in Taiwan, and she, ex she shared um, one thing that I always knew, but I didn't know. Um, she said that during the COVID-19 situation here in Taiwan, and uh, I think it began about two months ago, about two months ago, where the MCO, as you guys would have it, um, the restriction of movement and also the gathering um, has picked up. And she said that since then, um, a lot of the recycling volunteers couldn't come out to the recycling stations and they felt very uh, depressed and they felt that they wanted to do more, but they couldn't. Okay, so obviously we started a lot of caring programs to call them, we, we you know, online programs. And then she said, this is the time that I realize that it is not Siji that needs us. It is us that needs Siji. And I'm like, wow, you're absolutely right. You know, um, right now we need Siji because everybody's soul, we're, we're, we need something to hold on to. And when we couldn't do that, our lives are unbalanced. But, but because it has always been with us, right? Siji is always around us. So we don't feel the need so much. But now that it's taken away and you realize it, we need Siji more than Siji needs us. And I thought that that was so profound. Like you knew this, but you know it the moment that she says it. And you realize you finally know what it means. Okay, so now let us be your need. Let us fill that need by you sharing with us and we as a group can share with you how to cope or give you the blessings that, that, that we can try to offer. Okay, so open the floor up 
um, open the mic to everybody to share your recent encounterings with COVID and your feelings that you want to share with the group. Thank you. All the brothers and sisters heard that uh, what uh, Brother Joe mentioned is open for everyone to share. Uh, who would like to share, you may uh, switch on your mic and on your video, let Brother Joe see your face. <laughs> Rather than all the black patches, <laughs> you'll be talking over the cloud without seeing faces. Can earn. Thank you for your consideration. Uh, good morning. This is Yong Lei. I would like to share. Yeah, I'm actually driving right now to Jing Si Tang. Um, um, can everybody hear me? Because uh, if because I'm on speakerphone. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Um, I like to share. It's like yesterday, right? Um, uh, actually, is um. Yesterday was Thursday. Uh, Wednesday evening, I received a call from our three in one team, asked me to whether I can be present to Jing Si Hall tomorrow. Um, the reason is because of uh, Suji actually received a call from a uh, local council of Wang Maju, is one of the small places in Malaysia. They mentioned that uh, there's ABC block 1,600 family. Um, they are all B40 people, so they are actually very low income people. And in this um, 1,600 families, right, there's a 17 family was quarantined at home because um, they actually, uh, they, they are a COVID-19 patient. So, uh, and they asked me whether I can go or not because they need to distribute the items. I think the, the first thing is like, um, I am very impressed of what Suji is doing is they, uh, then, uh, because I'm also a Suji uh, TCIS KL family uh, parents, so I received a message from the principal office saying that whether uh, the all the parents that are invited to join the, the packing of the items and um, they just select, they just need 20 of us. So um, I'm actually was so busy and, and because of my work and my kids, then I decided to say no. Then, but, but after that, uh, uh, yesterday early morning, I actually Fa Xiang, right? Then I, I heard about Master say that we always like walk two steps ahead and walk three steps back, right? I'm, I'm so like, oh, I'm ashamed, right? Why I do not like try to try to arrange my work schedule and, and try to fulfill it because if let's say I do not, I'm not there. So who is going to write down the, the Dharma uh, during the distribution day? So I decided to say yes in the early morning after Xun Fa Xiang. I'm so I have no regret at all because like the the COVID nineteen in Malaysia is so severe. I can tell you right. Uh, in the past we only like uh, always sit on top of the van or the truck. Then for the food distribution at Sabah or in overseas uh, international relief, it never happened in Kuala Lumpur at all. So but yesterday, yes, three of us, three in one, we are in the truck for truck and open air. So relax, enjoy the air in Kuala Lumpur, enjoy the scenery, yes. And, but I'm, I'm so sad because I'm, I'm so like, I, I asked, but what happening to, to Kuala Lumpur? Because we, we never had this happen, like people need our help to distribute the food. And the area that we went to is majority is Muslim. And, uh, the, the government do not have any like uh, allocation of fund to them, so therefore they have no choice to ask Buddhist association to help. I think in in Kuala Lumpur, I think for those uh, some of the Muslim, they, this is never be happened because you know they, they always have plenty of uh, help. But when I went there, right, so it is a very very uh, old flat in a small place, about just 20 feet of land, a place, a small space that for us to do distribution, and yet we have social distancing. But I can see all the residents and the dual block rice. They, they are so, they were so happy and joyful when we were there. And because they, 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 they are also uh, in suffering, but they tend to help the other neighbors who are the same block. So I think all those we are actually in, uh, in a very uh, disaster position and economy is sliding down and lots of people losing job. But at the same time, I can see the like um, the, 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 the unity of 
uh, Malaysian, the unity of the Muslim and and us together, there are no difference in between of us. Actually, um, the person who reported to the Dato Banda and later report to Tsuji, and she was so glad that um, and she was so touched that we we extend our help and we can get ready everything's in two or three days time. And she was in tears and she she was a bus driver in the past and she told me um she actually have no income for two years but she wants to donate 20 ringgit a month to help others and when she has her job back she wants to donate more uh to and she's also a Muslim lady. So, um, and last week also I did the same. We, uh, I also uh, been sent to uh, join the Tsuji distribution team. We, dis we also distribute 2,450 all these uh, items necessary to, uh, to the Japatan Kabajikan Malaysia means the, the, what, um, the, 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 the welfare, you know, the, the welfare Malaysia. And and a lot of people say that when we are we don't have money, we go back to the welfare Malaysia and, and ask for the money, right? But they do not have fun at all. They do not have money, so they have no choice to call NGO by NGO to ask for donation of the goods for those who are strengthened in this uh, severe area. And I, they they say that I am so ashamed, you may because when I have as a job. Welfare center in Malaysia, I have to call all the NGO, and some of them just send like 40 bags of a uh, pack of food, and we have 2,400 families. But only city is the organization said yes and distribute, get ready 2,450 bags in a one day's time. So this is very amazing. So I am so blessed that I'm a, a family that I'm able to to see all this um, and see uh, that every all the volunteers uh, have the Buddha nature and extend the help during this uh, pandemic. Yeah, that's all my sharing. I'm about to reach Tingsu Hall today. Is my duty to vaccination center again. Thank you. Okay. Um, good morning, uh, sister. Thank hey, you for our sister that. your that main good. sharing. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for uh, sharing it with us uh, regarding uh, recently what you have done uh, re uh, during this um, COVID-19. Uh, we are getting serious, uh, severe serious in Malaysia and what our Tsuji especially have done for the society and in, in, the, in our uh, communities. So anyway, uh, I can feel that you are so diligent and since that you are well listen to your master's teaching and you're applying into your daily life and you will reflect yourself what your thought uh, give rise to a bad thought and you will suddenly you will apply master's teaching and you know you you will uh, immediately do some changing uh, regarding uh, what you are supposed to 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 you know to get some changing for your own mind and i think that uh I know that you are driving a car while you're on the way to Jingsu Ho. So uh, for your safety, I think uh, next time if you want to share, but I think, yeah, to be honest, as we have a 10 precepts and uh, rules uh, for <laughs> our Tsuji need to follow. So but please, um, be careful that uh, while, you know, driving a car, it's better that, you know, maybe you stop on the roadside and maybe to sharing. This is for safety purpose. Yeah, anyway, but I'm very touching for what you have shared with us regarding uh, recently this uh, situation yeah but anyway uh thank you for our, our all volunteers in every way uh, to to work hard and you know to continue to do um, the good things to those people who need yeah anyway really very uh, touching so actually we do have our senior master here maybe she also can give some feedback yeah thank you yeah maybe she can yeah i uh, Yeah,谢谢大家都分享的很好,我们希望都在这一波的疫情祝福,祝福大家都能够平安健康,感恩。我们感激你们呃播出的时间呃
造那个本草因哦，呃，很多人收会，我们这里是需要的，呃，是法水，有师父常常陪伴，我们都会啊、呃、心安，感恩师父。Yeah, just for your for your information, and I think the、uh, past two days ago we just finished the packaging of the Jingshi herbal tea. But as I know that、uh, we can't buy it because all this、um, product that we have been packaged finished complete packaging、uh, will be going to deliver to all different、um, Jingshi store because they they have been some、uh, have been ordered by our、uh, customers. So. If,、uh, as I know that, if、uh, right now we want to buy the Jinsu herbal tea, maybe we need to wait until August for for do the ordering, order our quantity. Yeah. So it's yeah. Getting, yeah. A lot of people know that this is a very important item、uh, for for you know just for our safety purpose. Yeah. Anyway,、yeah, thank you. 是的，德黄师傅，呃、uh, ，because of the consignment and the container, if we tell at the port. Uh, several of the uh, cities uh, member try to reach out for the masses for the people who actually、uh, contracted and infected、uh, with COVID nineteen. Not so much on ourselves. We will take care of our health、uh, so that we can serve more. Just that、uh, more to the you know the family members as in、uh, care recipient especially. Like my my case, I have several、uh, due to、uh, you know、uh, limitations of.、Uh, You know,、uh, movement、uh, with the young one、uh, without the family consent,、uh, we couldn't serve. Actually, this is part of the area that Brother Joe just mentioned. This is the cause and the conditions that I have to accept. Uh, 心安自在 not to so hard on myself that I couldn't serve. So anyone else, uh, 感恩师父 anyone else that would like to share? If it is not, I would like to pass to uh, sister. I saw a message from sister Kapling. Sister Kapling, do you want to share your part? Good morning, sister. Yeah, the Han 师父好，德海师父好。Uh, yeah, this is Jia Ping Hao. Uh, yeah, right now there are lots of negativities out there, right? Um, I happen to tune in to one um sharing uh by doctors anonymously. Uh, they they just wanted to tell us what happens uh in the hospital right now, what they are experiencing, and it's really really heartbreaking to know that um they have so little to work with. And they're pleading for help. So I'm very glad that you know we have launched the Solidarity Fund, bringing、um, together、um, the interfaith group, and and this is really showing the doctors that we are all behind them.、Um, they are not alone. And whenever we you know distribute the equipment to the hospital, they are all very very grateful, and they keep saying that、uh, this is giving them a lot of strength, knowing that that is. Um, people out there who are caring so much for them,、um, and there are lots of suffering people out there. And I, you know, sometimes you can get stuck in so easily. Take for example, we started the care packages、uh, for those who are badly affected by COVID.、Um, on Monday,、um, our line was open.、Um, by Tuesday afternoon, there were more than two thousand five hundred families who signed up for food packages. And by Thursday, four thousand six hundred and fifty packages were all taken up already. So it's、um, sad to see that so many Malaysians out there don't even have enough of the basic food. So、um, it's very important to keep our spirit up. And、uh, just like Sister Yoke may say,、uh, I'm I'm very glad that. You know, I'm part of the city family. We have the strength, the resources,、um, to reach out to so many people, and that is really the way to keep our spirit up.、Uh, and this is very important during this time, like Master always say.、Um, you know, we have to keep our minds still, especially when the world out there is so turbulent. Otherwise, we will not be able to do anything、uh, substantive、uh, in the right direction. Thank you. That's my sharing this morning. Can earn Sister Gubbing for all the effort that、uh, to support our Malaysia 
magical team. They are very touched. In fact, feel like uh, this is the strength that at this moment all of us need. Cảm ơn Sister Kaping, Sư Phụ. 有什么要补充的？好，我补充一下，刚才师姐谈到那个本草饮，这次我们真的就是呃，听了上人的话，赶快制造这个本草饮出来，无非就是关心慈济人及全球人的平安跟健康。那师傅们他们还有师姐还有同仁在协力场，真的大家。都非常用虔诚的心，每再包一份本草饮，都念一声的佛号，一分的祝福。真的，这一波的疫情能够让大家能够平安健康的度过。那我们也很高兴，就是有听到那样的效果。很多确诊的，没有想到就是用中西哦中西合疗之后，重症都转轻症，然后轻症都痊愈。然后我们听了都很高兴，尤其有那个哎我们的那个院长哈、哦，就是有讲说哦，素食者。他们恢复的会更快，对。然后如果说是吃荤的，他们就很容易轻症转重症，重症要插管，对。如果说没有这样子，然后有这样一个数据根据，就是说我们吃素食的人，然后再加这个中西合疗，加上本草饮，很多都因为这样子而康复了。那我们觉得说，我们这样的努力真的有得到那样的效果，我们真的很开心，因为现在我们都是呃。呃，就是有分日班跟夜班，都要工作。我们的同仁都工作到十一点才有下班。那真的，大家这份的用心跟这份的努力，有看到这样的一个成果，我们真的再怎样辛苦都觉得值得。那非常感恩，那也再度的祝福大家都能够平安度过这一波的疫情。感恩，感恩师傅的开始啊。呃 Actually, uh, Sufu mentioned that uh, the Jinsu herbal tea is in a uh, uh, production, and they actually uh, move to uh, two shifts. One is on the day, and one is on night. And always they finish by eleven. Uh, they are restlessly uh, to, to produce so that more people will benefit from this uh, uh, herbal tea. Plus, those who are infected, uh, convicted uh, with. Uh, COVID nineteen, they have more recovery uh, than others on uh, you know not on the vegetarian diet. Those who are recover uh, much faster compared, rather than a switch, they are from you know category uh, from mild to severe. So it's very serious. Now what I can get from Sifu is uh, ask us to be more mindful about the. Uh, Health, you know, the food intake to be on vegetarian. So it's good that we, as Tuji uh, people, uh, as work as a group to promote vegetarianism. So uh, Brother Eddie's twenty uh, one days challenge will be a a great uh, a tool to link with uh, people uh, in the masses, so that they will uh, have this uh, immunity to. Uh, Fight COVID nineteen. 感恩 So, anyone would like to share? I would. I would. I Hi, would. sure, Sister Su Ting. Good morning to you. Today, I would like to hear your poem too. <laughs> 感恩 That one is later. Ah,、uh, yesterday I was in Jinsu Hall. <clears throat> I had the opportunity to volunteer last Friday, and I thought, um, it is. It, it was such a a positive experience. I want to do this every Friday because that's the time I can manage with my my family commitments and all.、Uh, so yesterday we went. The first last week when I was there, there were a thousand people, and yesterday there were seven hundred, and you could actually feel that、um, there were fewer people. And you would think that with fewer people, things are better. But actually, for for me, well, we are just not as busy.、Um, when you're Busy. The the good thing is you're so concentrated, you're so mindful, and you're you're in the moment, and time just passed by. But with seven hundred people, I could really feel that there was this drop in、um, activities, and the man begins to wonder already. So <laughs> the last week when I was there at six o'clock, I really didn't feel the time. But yesterday at four thirty, we were already so restless. Everybody was watching the clock. And before I know it, at five o'clock, 
everybody had left except me and my partner, Sister Bina. So we, we were needed because we are at the station when um, the vaccines have to pass. So we have to stay till the, the very last. Um, so we are you know, constantly checking how many more vaccines are going to come. How come there are still people coming through the, the uh, door even if the, the center is supposed to be closed right here? At five o'clock, there are still people coming. And I, I was becoming a little bit irritated, like, to be honest. And I'm like, oh, they should know they should close it really. Because can you imagine so many people waiting for just a few? Um, and to, to be honest, all the uh, all the volunteers there, we, we were moving the uh, vaccines as, um, as efficiently as possible because actually there aren't many, many people. So from the beginning till the time they reached my station was only about maybe five minutes. Um, but I, what I was surprised with because I can feel my irritation building up already. And then when I see, huh, in, in progress, there are still six or seven. Uh, and the, it doesn't seem to stop because as soon as we clear a few, another few people came. But the last person who came, uh, a lot of volunteers just um, followed this old man until uh, they reached my station just before they, they rest. Uh, what, what was uh, the lesson here was, <clears throat> firstly, Sister Bina, who, who was my partner <laughs> the whole time, uh, it was her son's birthday. So she could at any time, she had a reason to uh, leave me <laughs> and, and, and go back because it was already after five, but she never did. In fact, she extended it to me. She says, why don't you go back? And I said, no, you have every more. And then I felt a little bit embarrassed because she was actually reading my mind. I'm thinking I should just lock up with everybody else. Um, but I, I was so touched by her, her selflessness. Um, and her ability to think of me even at this kind of time. Um, and when the last vaccine came, um, everybody was just so uh, nice to the vaccine or helping him, he was an older man, helping him uh, get to the finishing line as, as fast as possible. So I, at that moment, I kind of felt, my, I even told my son, I, I was a bit embarrassed with my thoughts that I was selfishly thinking about just me, 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 and not thinking about the position of the vaccines. In fact, the last year vaccines, one of them who came, uh, she, she was an Indonesian, and um, one of the brothers asked her, what time was your appointment? She said three, and it was already 5.30. Um, and uh, the, the brother asked her, why can't you come early? And then she says, actually, I have to work. <laughs> Uh, again, I was a bit embarrassed that uh, I was only thinking about myself. Everybody has a story to tell and I should be more um, soft. And um, so that was a, a good awakening towards the end of uh, the whole day of volunteering. It, it wasn't the volunteering, it was the lesson at the end. And when I uh, accepted that, uh, and let go of my this desire to go back so soon. Actually, the time flew by. And before I knew it, it was the last. And thank you so much. And we cleaned up and left for the day. So uh, the perception of this irritation is all in my mind. And that's what I want to share. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Sister Su Ching, yeah, for, you know, uh, you can really feel the love of our brothers and sisters, uh, our selflessness. Yeah. Maybe we can also hear a bit of uh, feedback from Brother Joe Hong. Yeah, um, thank you. That was inspiring indeed. Um, you, the difference isn't just the number of people, but also what's in your heart and your mind. And thank you, Sister Su Ching, to share that, um, the up and downs in your heart and, and also that, that perceived selfness and also the selflessness. And um, that was a very good lesson. As you said, the moment you realize it, it was already the last person. <laughs> and that's usually how it is. Um, but you realize it, right? At least I think that was the most important part. You saw it and you felt it. So then that won't be your last person. That would be 
you would have the next session. You would keep that in mind and also always remembering. And now that it doesn't have to be the last person with you either, because we hear it and others will now trying to remember that and try to also put it into practice to remember and do what you what you share with us to do. So thanks to uh, your sharing. And um, as you said, it's not just about us, but I do have to say that my time is running out too. I have to run to the different meeting. Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, I really want to stay and listen to more stories. And as Sifu here too, we want to stay, but we have a next meeting and uh, so we have to run. Um, but Sifu, please let us give you a hand. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. Today, we have this kind of music to participate in this conversation. I'm really happy to hear that everyone is learning more and more. I hope that everyone can be more productive and more productive. I hope that everyone can be more productive and more productive. I hope that everyone can be more productive. Yeah, Kana, Kana Sifu. And Kana, sorry, we have to leave soon. And um, okay, no worries. Yeah, keep up the good work and stay safe. Okay, everybody, stay safe, and so that we can do more to help others. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, Kana, Kana. Before we move to Brother Albert Ong, maybe we will give a little time to Sister Sharon. Sister Sharon, you. Okay, Kana. Brother Albert, okay. Yeah. What do you, Sister Sharon? Thank you, brother uh, Robert. Thank you. Uh, uh, good morning, Shifus, and good morning, everyone in Malaysia. Just a quick uh, sharing from uh, Australia. Um, uh, we are at the moment, New South Wales, we are under strict lockdown as well. Um, even though like our cases, we have 97 cases yesterday and six in New South Wales and uh, sorry, 97 in New South Wales and six in Victoria. And listening from sisters and brothers sharing just now, it, in terms of a number of cases as compared to Malaysia, 10,000 cases, which we are only like, you know, uh, less than 100 cases. Um, but the precautions that we took are exactly the same like what in Malaysia. We have strict uh, lockdown as well. And uh, 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 what's really... Um, that makes me thinking is that because our surgery in Australia, we have been distributing meals like 145, 150 meals every week to the vulnerable and the homeless. But we have to temporarily put it on hold because of the uh, the safety reasons. Um, and, and we are not allowed to have anyone at the center as most uh, of our volunteers to the trains and all that to come in. So it makes me think like, you know, um, it is really, it, because of the lockdown, we couldn't um, uh, provide the meals and so on. But what about these vulnerable people who still need to eat during this uh, lockdown uh, seasons? So luckily, there are some charity organizations which is allowed to open and they continue with the meals distribution. So it's really, um, and, and, and the same again, we here in Australia as in, in, in Malaysia, like our schools are all in lockdown, businesses closed, only supermarkets are allowed to open and all that. So what I'm just thinking is that the Precautions are all the same, and I really hope that we can, um, you know, um, uh, ease the lockdown soon. Like we, we started off with two weeks lockdown, and then as the cases got worse, and they gone to uh, uh, another uh, extend to another week and another week, and so on. So it's been a month that we've been on lockdown. So again, we have to abide with the rules and uh, just have to to listen and not to say like, oh, we want to do this just because we think we should be doing this uh, because other vulnerable people need food as well. But because we have to abide with the rules, we just have to stop everything, which is, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's a, a bit of sharing from uh, Australia. So hopefully we can, um, uh, you know, we can open up soon. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and of, everyone in Malaysia is safe as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, over to you, Sir Suching. Yeah, got an uh, all the wonderful of course uh got an sufu, got an uh, brother Joe, uh got an all the wonderful sharers and uh, great uh, great uh, sharing by sister Minli and uh, brother Alex, sister Irene. Uh really very heartfelt uh, uh reporting from and uh, just now very grateful to hear all the wonderful sharing from the sisters uh, from the sisters as well. Uh, yeah, we understand during this time it's not easy. Uh, as brother Joe said uh, how the the recycling volunteers are feeling, I am sure here as such, uh, maybe Malaysians, we have quite prolonged uh, COVID situation uh, since last year. That's why uh, many of the volunteers, uh, especially the recycling, imagine it's their daily ritual uh, to go to Huan Pao San uh, and now not being able to do so. But we know some still very quietly do that. Uh, so, but have to take really good care. Uh, for those who can't, we heard they have started doing the, uh, what, uh, they make uh, the bags out of the recycled uh, packets. And uh, so 
uh, and some they are, they are also joining online session. There are more online session now, so we are very grateful to that. Okay, today we are very grateful to have our brother Everett to share with us. Uh, uh, this is uh, his continuous effort. He has shared before how he uh, continued to help the, the frontliners because he could not bear to see these people still working very hard uh, selflessly, uh, yet uh, could not really have full meals. Uh, and uh, he seized the opportunity to help them. He has been doing it since last year. So it gel very well with today's topic also. I think today also we heard how the medical sites are, are, are facing this battle, like uh, Sister Cupping have uh, sharing. And uh, let us uh, hear from uh, uh, Brother Everett. Over to you, Brother Everett. Hi, Kanan. Hi, Kanan. Kanan, Sister Siu Chen. Uh, my name is Everett. So uh, can can I share screen now, uh, Sister? Uh, yeah. Brother, Brother Robert? Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's good. Can you see the screen now? Yes, we can see. We can see. Okay. Uh, good day, uh, brothers and sisters, everyone online. Okay. My name is Everett Ong. Um, my to today's topic will be uh, journeys during COVID, uh, what I've been doing, you know, uh, during this period of time. And as uh, Sister uh, Chen said, uh, we started doing this since last year, 18 March. Yeah. So this is the picture which I uh, taken in... Uh, during in a Slayang, you know, uh, wholesale market. So um, when we allowed, uh, you know, our journey to continue, the affinities never stop. Why do I say this? You see, this is a, a snapshot of our, you know, we've been doing last year, approximately like 19,000 meals uh, per day, I mean, in totality. And uh, these are the, on the, on, on the, on your right hand side, uh, these are the places that we we, we bring our our sense of love, our meals, vegetarian meals to all these uh, government bodies like clinical centers and hospitals, and as well as uh, some of the uh, uh, what they call it um, uh, quarantine hotel. Yeah, because they they've been spreading news that who is delivering these vegetarian meals, so they, they are sharing you know to each and every one, so that the people start contacting us, you know, the kind of things. Okay. Um, I like this picture. <laughs> the affinities uh, come from near and far. Okay, these are the. Uh, 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 forgive me if I miss out some. You know some some of the names. Yeah, that uh, we've been working together as you can see, like Star Pickers. You know, Tasso Vegetarian Cuisine, I Chef Studio. You know, Emily Chu, uh, Kenji Mu uh, Kiki, and uh, and uh, Mochi Master. So these are the people you know, when they know that we are doing this, uh, bringing love to hospital. So they would like to participate, you know, do bits and you know, uh, pan and parcel, you know, to to make this uh, even more joyful kind of uh, uh, event. Uh, put it this way. As I said, the affinities came from near and far. As you can see, uh, uh, this is a slider wholesale market and. Uh, as you can see, a beautiful scene, scene, uh, scenic here is Cameron Highlands. Okay. Um, as well as uh, uh, others, uh, what they call it, um, uh, Buddhist Center, you know, and that uh, because of all this uh, pandemic, you know, bring us together, okay, especially this Brahma, uh, Brahma Vihara, you know, they help us to, uh, to, to raise a lot of funds, you know, yeah, and so on and so forth. Even there's uh, this Lama, what they call that Lama MC, you know, brings a uh, lot of, uh, you know, oil, uh, 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 rice to for us to cook, you know. Okay, I'll move on, further on. Okay, uh, first of all, um, uh, there are a few sections that we, you know, what we did during this uh, MCO time, okay. One of them is that we're sending love to hospital. And as you can see, uh, all these, uh, most of them are quite elderly people. And these are the volunteers that came, you know, when they come in, uh, you know, uh, take away uh, tapa from a restaurant. They saw what we are doing and they start offering. You need a lot of uh, man manpower. Can we come and help you? You know, the kind of thing. Yeah. So eventually it's all started, you know, uh, these are the some of the pictures that we prepare, you know, uh, the meals to hospital. And this is the last year picture whereby, you know, even uh, the Chichi International School student, they came and, and, and with their parents to help out. There's even one children, you know, uh, so reluctant to come, you know, I think I shared this before. Uh, I do a quick, a quick uh, 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 sharing whereby she don't, he, he don't want to wake up because he got to wake up early morning, you know, he's so reluctant and so, so complaining. But eventually when he came to, to my restaurant, then, you know, 
he been asking the mother, what can I learn? You say a lot of things to learn, what to learn? So you know, he been asking a lot of questions uh, on me, you know, with, uh, to me. And then, you know, for example, I, I quote one example, you see, when, when he said, how come the, uh, what they call it, this potato outside looks so beautiful, inside so rotten, you know? I said, this is like human beings. Some people look very nice outside, but in, inside the heart is not so kind. Likewise, some people doesn't appear so so beautiful in physically, but they are so kind in their heart. So the children, you know, uh, the students or the 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 uh, listening, and and at the end of the day, he was so touched, and he went back to the school the other the next I mean the uh, the next round, and and he shared his story, and a uh, few of his uh, what they call that uh, classmates are so 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 touched, uh, so moved by his sharing. So this is one of the pictures that I shared uh, delivering meals in hospital. Okay, and uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, the affinities uh, you know that we created, and I would like to thank a lot I, uh, to this iChef Studio, and uh, the owner of, of iChef Studio is uh, Emily Chu. I think she, I invited her to, to join this uh, session, and I think I saw her name in this, in this uh, chat, in this Zoom. Uh. So, uh, Basically, she, she's running a non-vegetarian restaurant. She, she cook uh, what they call it, uh, meat. But I'm very surprised, you know, she managed to accommodate and, you know, uh, uh, and cook, you know, together with her chef, all sort of vegetarian meals. And it's not just normal vegetarian meals. To me, it's so fusion and so, you know, she cook like Japanese style. I, I can't even read the name, some of the name that, you know, she, 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 she do, you know, and I look at, yeah, this is the sample. As, as you guys can see, this is not just, it's not just giving meals. It's, it's an art to me. You see, it's so beautifully done. And, and, and it raised a lot of eyebrows uh, towards all a uh, lot of doctors. And I hear they call me directly. Some of them, they know me. And, you know, they're so surprised. Uh, it's not just Chinese style, uh, you know, uh, three dishes, one right. As you can see. So, you see, this is, it's not just delivering meals. It's, it's so fully hearted, you know, uh, Master Cheng Yen said. So, and this is on the left hand side is the chef. Okay. And she even uh, bring her chef along with her to do the delivery. She, initially, she bring her meals drop to my doorstep in my restaurant and we, we deliver together. But, you know, Chichi, we, we need a lot of volunteers to send uh, and to, to work at this uh, PP, PP, uh, what they call it, PPV center. So uh, at the end, uh, she, she voluntarily and she willing to send the meals, take up the job from us, uh, deliver, you know, uh, pick from our restaurant and deliver to, uh, to hospital Slaya. And he, she inv even invited her uh, chef, you know, to, to self-experience, you know, besides cooking, you know, to, 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 to what they call it, uh, to have a, a direct, you know, uh, in touch with uh, these people when they come and collect. You see, and uh, you know they are doing not just uh, the rice. She she's doing even pows. You know the buns, which is superly awesome. I would say, okay. And look at you see uh, what she did. She, she even do beyond what we are doing. She she came out. You look at the name of the dishes. Are uh, as I mentioned, I can't some of them. I don't even know what is that. <laughs> you see, so this is so touching. You see, that is this is what Master Cheng always said: seed planting. Yeah. I never expect someone, you know, from a non-vegetarian restaurant can come up something which is so, uh, you know, eyebrow right, uh, raise the eyebrow. Okay, uh, then the other one is, I think some of you heard of this Tasu Wu Fang, you know, Tasu. It's quite of a, a quite, a, a, I would say, fine dining that a group of a master that came from China. So uh, eventually, because uh, as I mentioned, one of the, uh, what do you call it, um, volunteers that help out and she realized that we off we, we rest on tuesday so she asked then who's going to cook for the doctors on tuesday i said sorry lord we, we have to rest right you know and you know what uh, she said let me contact this vegetarian restaurant i know them so eventually everything kicks start you see they start so they promised to to take up these slots on tuesday see the key thing is that look at the the chain of reaction you see which is very touching yeah let me move on and uh, this is what is being uh, cooking uh, from uh, from from my restaurant. Okay, which is nothing compared to <laughs> to you know uh, this uh, I chef studio. Huh? It's very Chinese style. Okay, so I just move on. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is uh, and I have to be thankful to Brother Mok 
which has been in uh, volunteer work in Sly Hospital for like seven, eight years. You see, and this is the feedback that he, he, he forward that uh, from this Timbalan uh, Pengara, Mr. Supramania. He is so touching, you know, that we can come up. It's not just we deliver, you know, I mean, we deliver the heart. It's, a, it's an art, you know, yeah. And these are the volunteers I mentioned, those elderly people. So remember their face because at the end, one, one of our slides that I would like to share is related to these uh, elderly people, you know, yeah. So, uh, and this is uh, some of the pictures that we have been uh, volunteer as well, you know, some of the uh, local artists, Emily, um, uh, Emily uh, you know, and uh, Phoenix, you know, and, you know, uh, these are the, uh, the uh, journey of preparation. Uh, so, uh, okay, and I think most of you know the brother there, he's been delivering for us, you know, most of the day. Okay, um, this is what I just got the news, uh, you know, yesterday, it's still hot from oven. Uh, you know, um, they've been requesting that, uh, you know, there's uh, one of her uh, sister, uh, uh, Imi, Imi uh, I just mentioned her name, Imi, she asking me, do you uh, know, uh, because this hospital, you know, been calling me, asking, can you are supplying, you know, to to other hospitals, they need the food desperately. Why? Uh, you know, it's not that they lack of money. By the time they have time to eat, uh, it's already like, three o'clock, four o'clock, everything is closed. The canteen is closed. Even, uh, you know, uh, this Emily shared with me, this one time she delivered the meal to, to hospital. She went to the canteen and have a look. That's, it's about 12 something in the afternoon. And to a surprise, the canteen is not open. So as I, as I mentioned, just now, we are not just uh, delivering food or just, you know, we call it say, the cow or whatnot. We, we, we are more than happy to, you know, to, to supply, you know, in order to make them felt the warmth that there are still people, a lot of people are caring. So this list uh, uh, are requesting by uh, one of the uh, Pengara, uh, uh, Pengurusi uh, from uh, Songai Bulu Hospital. Uh, these are the number of people that are working in that uh, particular center. As you can see, Hospital Songai Bulu, there's 670 packs per shift. So um, there will be a meeting held, uh, you know, by one of the uh, uh, friends, you know, they are uh, try to uh, allocate funding and as well as uh, see who are willing to take up, you know, this uh, this portion uh, to deliver the meal. I think, yeah, they will create a very good, uh, you know, uh, affinities lah. Yeah, with a lot of people. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Um, why is this slide is here? I still have time. Let me check my time. Uh, okay. Um, this sister Jasmine, uh, you know, she, she knew what we have been doing and uh, look at her son. Her son is uh, autism, but he's very okay already. He even can drive, he can, you know, set up his own company and you know, making buns, you know, all these things. He's very okay. But her sister Jasmine said, uh, you know, she wanted her son to work with someone that care, you know, not just about doing or delivering their job. She wants a, 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 a as a society that you know can taking care of her son, you know, uh, you know along the way. So so I'm very glad that you know that uh, people uh, you know see the aura you know from I I think it's not from us it's from you know because basically I'm Chuchi so I learned a lot from Chuchi like Brother Joe said you know we need Chuchi you know uh, that's we, this this way the humanity came along the way huh. Okay, then the next one of the other activities that we do is, uh, we call it food bank distribution. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are doing, you know, putting the food in front of the doorstep, that kind of thing. But I realized that uh, there is a lot of people there, uh, you know, they cannot come up. So as Master Cheng always said, we have to reach in for those who cannot come out or cannot come to us. Okay, so uh, remember there's one earlier one slide, there's one master is on the far left. Okay, so this master Wu Feng, uh, she's been uh, delivering to date more than 1,000 uh, this uh, mantel or some even there's, uh, you know, as you see the colorful here, all are natural colors or all they, they have, uh, uh, there's, there's uh, stuff inside, like, you know, some are like veggie, some are, you know, uh, uh, petai as well. So as you can see on the right hand side, all these red packets, uh, these are people that I said they cannot come up. Yes, of course, there are some are uh, not Malaysian, they are foreigners. 
And the sad part is that uh, I heard that, uh, and this is thank you to Emily, uh, one of my, another friend, uh, Emily Man. Uh, so uh, she been distributing all these all these pounds buns to these people, and she shared with me yesterday that one very sad story, and it, it happened in you know, there's one one uh, one one man. Okay, I think uh, it's, a fa- it's a family man with children passed away because due to hunger. You see, no food. They even go all the way to the forest to look for those whatever that eat edible, you know, what roots or leaf or whatnot. So to the extent that uh, this guy cannot bear and he was rushed to the hospital and sadly, you know, he passed away due to, you know, hunger. Yeah, that is very, very sad. Okay. Um, and these are the people that we reach, you know, the vegetable that the people sent to us along the way throughout the last year till now. And uh, this is uh, this is what uh, you see. Uh, one thing good about Suchi is I will share uh, more on this this slide, uh, this story later slides. As you can see, this temple they have been doing all this vegetable uh, 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 distribution. So Suchi uh, get to know them. We we just deliver the vegetable to them. So in a way, we create a very strong and good affinity. Look at all these bags. Each bag contains a mixture of vegetable, and where does all this vegetable come from? I will explain the next slide, and you can see this is Chichi Jing Tang, and now we are doing uh, this a PPV or uh, a Pusat Vaccine Center, right? Uh, so uh, we 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 bring some vegetable to to Jing Tang so that they can cook and for all the volunteers to eat. And this is on the right bottom. This is Emily Man. Uh, she's also one of the Malaysian artists, and she run a production house. Okay, and this is uh, in a uh, Jinjiang. Uh, if some of you recognize, and this is a sister from, uh, this is, uh, I think, a Catholic sister, right? Okay, so we sent it not just to, you know, Chinese or what, we just sent to whoever that did all this uh, vegetable. Okay, do you see uh, all these, all these boxes are full of vegetable? You see, and this load of lorry is five tons, and all together is like close to five thousand kilos of vegetable mixture of vegetable. That's a huge, and they're supposed to come at eight o'clock, you know, but they reach at the end of the day, ten o'clock night time. So that is during MCO time. Uh, I would like to thank you very very thank you to Miss Ui from uh, this uh, what do you call it uh, Cameron Highlands, okay, uh, and she she she. Uh, collect all those farmers, people, whoever, to send vegetable because I get to know her since last year MCO because I do a lot of posting on my Facebook, you know, and she get through from a friend recommended, you know, you can you want to donate to this guy and not, you know, so that's how we get to know. So eventually, the affinity I mentioned, it will continue. See, Miss Wei from Cameron Helena. I would like to thank to, to the fellow donors consist of many farmers from Kampung Raja. And because uh, she came so late and because her lorry, some, some you know, some uh, issue like that's why delayed. And she felt so, so, so bad because she saw a lot of volunteers, all oh, white hair. And people are working, you know, until 10 o'clock waiting for the lorry to come. She feels so guilty and she feels so touched and she... She, she and her team pledge she want to you know deliver the vegetable once a week she would try to 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 you know to to do that and when she shared all these pictures with uh, her fellows uh, donors everyone are so touched you know they they, they, they everyone you know just uh, made a wow they promise they want to do this they are still so touched and the best part is you know due to all these volunteers by all these brothers uh, and sisters we managed to clear off the uh, the first round which is five thousand five tons of vegetable the next day before 12 o'clock imagine the speed you see that count so assuming a family we give three kilos of uh, vegetables and it's like approximate I, I calculated around 2300 families that benefited and the most importantly, there is a strong affinity is bonded. This is this is something that you know it doesn't come you know every time. So we have to grab the opportunity. So here I would like to share uh, on 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 twenty one days health challenge. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to Dr. Eddie Chen uh, of this event. So uh, basically, what we did be, besides sending food. So these are the some of our sample. I will not go through very details because. Uh, you know, uh, time is running and this is not 
uh, not the so 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 right fashion uh, but just to let you know and so that you can share around with other people if you want to know more about this uh, 21 day healthy challenge so uh, there's a tremendous story and touching story you know resulting from the 21 day meals not even 21 days or maybe i just take one uh, slot to to share with you there's one participant very young 30 over years old he's been like high blood pressure for 10 over years and he's on medication you know and the reading of his uh his uh, high pressure is 160 to 170 okay under medication and our normal safety range is not above 120. what happened was you know what happened was uh, the fourth day which is the eight news he came and see me, he showed me his medical report. He said, boss, you see my report reading from 160 to, 100, uh, to 170, now dropped to 118, 118. The key thing is that look at how happy he is. So these are the things that, you know, that been going around. And I, to me, like, you know, I'm so happy, you know, that he's so joyful. He's not a vegetarian. And what happened was after this, uh, uh, they graduated, finished ready, and he and his partner, okay, continue. They want to eat this. You see, he loves to eat meat, you know, by the way. So um, basically, uh, it's almost towards the end of my sharing. So I would like to share, you know, if people ask, people used to ask me, why you are so busy, you know, you got so time for people, man. Why can't you, you know, what, what is your drive? You know, what makes you, you don't feel, I never see you complaining or, you know, you keep on, you know, move here and there. How about your family? So, you know, uh, while I'm doing all these things, uh, Master Cheng Yen, who words keep on, these are the few words that always come to my mind. Uh, for example, for example, 听得懂,做得到,行得通. You see, these uh, nine words uh, means like, when we hear is makes sense, it's doable, okay, and implementable. So basically, the secret of this, this center is, Make things simple, keep it short and simple. Same goes with my message to my team. So when we make things simple, we add in humility, think things will come out beautifully. So, and and uh, I, I just, uh, uh, what you can learn this word uh, for the, uh, I mean, last two weeks, the uh, Da Jing Jing, uh, it, it goes in Mandarin, you know, 把别人的错误要找到自己的责任. So meaning like when you see suffering from others, we might we must find our responsible in giving. It regards what form, big or small. We can start small. Eventually, it will grow. People will come, you know. And another words, and I really like which is we persist not because we see hope, but because we persist persist in doing what is right. The hope is formed. This is you see, beautiful simple words, you know. And, and this really gives uh, me and my team a very strong, you know, a push, you know. Yes, we do face obstacles, you know, from time to time. But when we're calling, you know, master sharing, things will back to shape, you know. And as I mentioned earlier, when the suffering cannot come to us, we must go to them. And, and last thing is, is lead the end back into the, the line. In Benu, Manjang, Yao Yin Lu, so we have to some people when they go straight you know yeah maybe they have due to their attitude or behavior because we are not police we are not here to judge or to to punish we are just leading back to what they're supposed to be when we give they learn how to how to give eventually so um uh, i i think this is one of my last two slides uh why am i keeping making wow Okay, I do share with people my vow because to me that is the fundamental in walking into Bodhisattva path or walk into the society because that is the only way to make us grow and learn. And I always remind myself to check and balance my vow from time to time. Because why? Because sometimes, you know, things come, you can be very small. Sometimes we just like, oh, yeah, very mafan, you know, troublesome. For example, I put here Yifong case. She, she called me, she wanted, she is my volunteer in this 21 day. She's a volunteer in this 21 day. Yeah. What happened was, 
you know, she, when she packed all the rice, uh, sometimes we have leftover, uh, this 21 day healthy, you know, less oil, less sugar, less milk, uh, less salt, or even try to be no sugar, no, no salt, no oil. She, she eat all those uh, leftover, uh, and you know what? She's quite a, a size woman, and she loved that. And for your information, she's a lady boss of a, a, a what do you call it? A high uh, what do you call it? Um, seafood restaurant, <laughs> yeah, with her husband. So she, she loved the, the, the food and she wanted to continue eating. She, but she said, uh, my in-law uh, family is from Puchong. So, you know, then I have to contact the Puchong side and I was so busy. I do admit, I uh, have to call this, but again, I tell myself, hey, I made vow already. Ma. So I have to honor what I said. So, so quickly, you know, my, my, my mind back to the track and I contact the teacher, I know the sister or the committee members, and there he goes. I forward her the numbers and she contact. You see, that is a seed planting. So, and um, when is the best time to upgrade my vow? Seeing suffering on others, but don't have the ability to help. As I mentioned, the news of people dying from hunger in Malaysia recently. So, yes, we have to come up something, we have to think something. So, now, what is my latest vow? So, Tianxia Heights is the full move. What does it mean? Because uh, you know, I, I'm in an international school, uh, also a a lot of people they sway away to the wrong path because they they don't have a proper guidance, you see. So from there I realized in order in, instead of telling them, you know, why do I do something? Change from the no killing, you know, vegetarian diet, that kind of thing. But then again, I said, if I become the children of the whole world, but they have their, their own parents to, to influence them. So then from there, I make another vow. Then I want to be their parents' parents. You see, yeah, it takes a long journey, but be, I mean, you have to be a bit, yeah, something I do afraid, but again, you will eventually you have to check and balance. You will see, you know, yeah, Dharma protector or whatnot will come in, assist everything. Yeah, and again, Chinese always emphasize on uh, color aroma. So what is this related? Because people ask, uh, you know, I see a lot of uh, uh, people feedback or even my friends, you said, you said meaningless being vegetarian. So, or even when they have, even the vegetarian, when, they, when their food goes, goes wrong, uh, there's like, you know, kelang kabut already because they only focus their life on eating to one thing, only eating or only traveling or only, you know, uh, shopping or only children. No, instead, we shouldn't stay monotonous. We should build more lines for our life. For example, we do charity. We, you know, we do cooking. We, you know, we do uh, recycling. You know, we, we do, we try to make yourself busy, build more things so that if one part doesn't turn out as, we wanted to be. You still have more other things to focus, and you have no time to focus on the things that makes you not so happy. You know, so yeah. During this pandemic, it does definitely change my lifestyle, but never change my life. Never change my okay. Uh, 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 the the another one is that um, I have another three minutes around. I know. Like uh, Erchi, okay. The is or oh, come and go, gain and loss. Okay, uh, it, what, what, is, what is my loss then? I would say uh, time perhaps, yeah. But eventually, what my, my, my loss is my biggest gain. I have totally changed my way of life. I, sh I, I spend less time on my children and my family, but they are so proud what is that daddy is doing. So I have to thank to my home sister also because she'll be taking care of my family. I have no worries. I have, you know, I went out early morning. I came back very, you know, midnight, that kind of thing. So at the end, I want to be the bridge and we should be master Chen Yang bridge uh, and other Dharma master bridge as well. Okay, be the trap to link up, to chain up, you know. People, you know, there are even others, neighbor restaurant, been asking my staff, what is your posture? How come business so many business one? You know, they are so uh, I would say uh, 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 confused uh, at this moment of time, and at the same time they are so I mean jealous, right? You know the kind of thing. But 
again, you no, know, we have to be, you have to walk up, you know. So what the this is my life life. I love this lady, and you know, she I think she joined this American, uh, you know what singing contest? I can't remember. She by the way, she is a cancer patient. I not mistakenly mm-hmm. stage four or final stage. Look at her 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 weight. You can tell the hair is just you know so thin. She said, "You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy." So to me, yeah, to give what others need the most, give when people need most. Even when we are so so shut off, we are so so uh, 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 because not when we are ready, they only we give. Because when 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 the time we are ready, uh, the damage has already been done. Are so severe. So um, I love these two these two words. Okay, 一个是流水, means one is one is flow, one is leak. I think everyone should understand from the two pictures. It's straightforward. Okay, whatever come to us, we the good thing come to us. We should let it flow and continuous share to more people. Okay, and it shouldn't be like this on the right hand side. Or it could be your left hand side, whereby a lot of leakages, and leakages are mostly from our our three poison, our ignorance, our greed, our hatred, and our suspicious. You know, we always suspect people's wisdom. You know, the kind of thing. Okay, this is uh, my Jing Si for the today sharing. Living to serve humanity is a life of a genuine human being. Working just to make a living is a life of ordinary living beings. Yeah, got it, got it, got it so much, uh, Brother Edward Wong, yes. for the wonderful, wonderful uh, sharing. I also have benefited so much from okay. the food. Uh, my weight came down by 5 kg after taking 21 days of your this food challenge. You know, I think uh, uh, I joined, you know, to test out, you know, what is uh, less oil, eat less sugar, and eat less processed food, you know. I think your food really really work wonderful. Yeah. Okay, now we shall invite Sister uh Sister Fu Te Huang to say a few words. Uh Sister Fu. Uh, sorry, Sir Yen. So yes, sorry, so uh, because uh okay, they, they are, have already go for their uh JC already, but just now I just have uh happened that I can listen to the part that I was uh sharing. It's very yes. wonderful. And I can see that um, all of you have put Dharma into your daily life and you do it, fixing it as well. Huh. Although uh, maybe in some of Mandarin, you are not so fluent on it, but you can understand it. The important thing is you understand the principle, understand the Tao okay? So you understand the spirit of the Buddhism. So that's why you put it into the action. Huh. So I just hope that everyone can continue on, on this uh, Buddhist top house as well. Huh. So very thankful and I, I really enjoyed the listen to the, the sharing as well. So over here, I would like to uh, kind of like share one of the things with all of you. Okay. Can you see my slide? Yes, we can. Uh, okay. Bye. So let me see. Hi. Is it? Yeah, I think we, you can see it, right? So, yes, we can see. Okay, I just would like to share with you one of the the uh, the phase over here that I, I like it very much. Yeah, that is relief, hardship, and magnetic living being. Under the pandemic, love and care are expanded to those who are suffering. When one eye sees, a thousand eyes see. When one helping hand moves, a thousand helping hands more. Tricky volunteers are like the living bodhisattva arising for the suffering being. Volunteers help those who suffer in Taiwan and those around the world. Great love helps to relieve hardship and benefit living beings. To promote plant based diet and the vegetarianism is to protect every living being. Diligently acting out the Dharma with the Buddha's heart. So I hope that this phrase is uh, can benefit you all. And I later stage I will put in at, at the uh the group 
uh, WhatsApp so that everyone can also uh, read through it as well. So thank you very much, and I hope you all diligently walking in the Bodhisattva path. Thanks a lot, Kan Eun. Kan Eun, Kan Eun so much, uh, Sufu, for the, your wonderful words of guidance. Yeah. So I think that today we will end uh, our session. Uh, Kan Eun so much. Robert, yeah. Sorry, Sufu I thought you had another yeah. word of Kan Eun, brother of them for... The wonderful hosting. Of course, Gan, uh, Master the UN for the great uh, guidance. Uh, we have uh, Sister Su Ching to uh, take us over. Gan, Sister Su Ching, please. Uh, Sister Wonderful Summer. Hello, everyone. It's me again. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to open this figure, but never mind. Um, so this was, this is my summary of yes, last week's uh, Dharma sharing. There was uh, Sister Kaping and Sister Susan. So with Sister Kaping, um, this is my little uh, poem on what she has shared. Um, the Solidarity COVID-19 Fund was set up to help Malaysian hospitals to obtain the much needed medical equipment and essentials. With daily numbers rising to dizzy heights, it is worrying. The task of raising the enormous amount of 10 million seems to be more challenging. This is because the pandemic has stretched for, far, for much too long now, and it is extra imposing to seek donations no matter the sincerity of Sister Kapin's vow. Many people have suffered from donation fatigue. We can no longer seek donations merely on the grounds that people are sick. Sister Kaping mouthed the while the daunting task ahead. She understood that to succeed, she just needs to be brave instead. Block out the negativities and ask what is the next best move that will lead to another next right thing and the situation will improve. From asking a former boss and ex-business associates with whom she has not kept in touch, blank out the naysayers and speak from the heart without a prejudge. There will always be resistance as people have been disillusioned and weary from this all. When you touch one soul and then another, the donations start to snowball. There is more that we can do, Sister Kaping and said Sister Kaping and her team. How about reaching out to another Buddhist group? Heck, all faiths together will be a dream. As if by magic and divine blessings, the dream did come true. When it did, the various religious groups felt belonged to this project. It's like they just knew. So off everyone went to work their miracles within their communities. The coming together of so many faiths, working for a common goal is a golden opportunity to show all Malaysians that no color, creed, and certainly not religious, belief, sorry, not differences in beliefs can come between us. The synergy is powerful and the energy is very contagious. In the end, the target was met in a mere month. It was not so mammoth, it seems. The interfaith collaboration has achieved the task that can only be done by a dream team. Okay, um, the next one is Sister Susan uh, sharing. It was uploading her vows. Sister Susan made a vow of raising a big amount for the Solidarity Fund in May this year. Carefully, she navigated amongst her clients while concerned with the potential jeers. Times are bad now, and people have used that as an excuse. So Sister Susan had to strategize her communications. It cannot just be out of the blues. She would time her calls to coincide with the right dividend payout, for instance or cautiously plan investment advice to dull the potential resistance. As the COVID cases kept soaring in Malaysia, there is a greater call for urgency. The greater the challenge, the more Sister Susan persevered determinedly. At times she felt like giving up. It is easy to walk away when things get tough. Then what good are all the Dharma learnings? She became brave enough to prod on even when things get difficult. That is what makes any task meaningful and meeting the target at the end of the day makes all the experience utterly beautiful. It is the vow that kept Sister Susan going when the will can sometimes fail. After the objective is achieved, 
She has now compiled the lessons for an inspiring team. And that's my sharing today. Um, okay.